Go. Go. You're gonna be taught. Where'd you go? You're a big guy, man. <laughs> see, I know I look like nothing out here, but then you look, you see, it's connected to the rest of the city. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself? Absolutely. I'm, I'm trying to find me a, a, part, a private party to get into. This is being recorded. Yeah, private party. Absolutely fine, man. So what we do, we literally go out and we enjoy nightlife. You know, nightlife. And sometimes what we do is cards, dominoes, all that good stuff. You know, right here will be a nice little area. Yeah. And this, and like I said, literally a private party. You have your music, you have your drinks, you're socializing, and you're just enjoying it. Uh, when you travel with groups of folks, sometimes you're out in the middle of nowhere. Private parties are it. You know, so that means no white people, you're not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Because, you know, you come to a country like this, there's white folks everywhere, and sometimes they're like, man, it's a party going on. You I remember that stuff. being in South Africa, we had a private party, and this one white guy, he was just, he was just obsessed with us, man. He went. And I had to get security to tell him that he's not allowed to come up here and party with us. So you stopped him from coming? <laughs> yeah, in a nice way, too. I liked the guy. I thought he was a nice guy. Uh -huh. But sometimes, you know... <laughs> Why you didn't want him to party? You didn't want him to party? You didn't let him party? We just, sometimes we need, we need, you know, like... Your own like, space. Like, that, that, like the word, the new word is like, me time. You know what <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need we time. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's so too funny. much. So even right here, right, right, this would be the perfect party. Like right there, like literally when we build our homes um, in Africa, we're going to build it to where the top is a, a social party in there, you know, private parties. I like AKA, that. AKA private parties. And then, you know, you can put up your satellite and other things on the level up, but you made the top floor a literally open floor to where you can chill, kick it, and, you know, you can put, you know, it's, it's like, it's kind of like extending your, uh, your living space. It's kind of like when we talk about, like, verandas, porch. Um, balconies. Balconies, things like that. You're decks. extending your, your, your social space. You know what I mean? So when you're trying to come party and socialize, it's good. And the family, yes, this is, the, I'm letting loose with a goose. <laughs> don't, 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 don't have any ice or don't have anything to mix it with, but I'm just here sipping on this thing and it's right. And, you know, enjoying it. And it is just unbelievable that I'm in Senegal. I started here in 2004, then I came back in 2005, then I came back in 2006, and that was it. Then, then, it, then after that, it became the Ghana world. Mm -hmm. you know, where, you know, the most addicting country I've ever been to. Yeah, where once I got there. So Ghana, would you say, is your number one spot for Africa? Yeah, absolutely. And Tanzania is a far second. And then you have other countries uh, in that loop. Like, you know, the Gambia is a developing nation, but great opportunities. There's a lot of work that has to be done. And then, you know, Senegal also, you know, you have, you know, even have South Africa. That's the five countries I just named. And uh, Togo and Benin, we used to go to. Those are like the seven countries on the rotation. You don't do to years. Egypt? Uh, I've been to Egypt once and I was but on a tour. But would you do a tour? But I would not be doing that. Now I'll leave that for the, the scholars. Let them, you know, okay. let, them have, let them have a piece of the pie. Okay. Ethiopia, I just could not get a group to go. It just, you know, some, you know, like I tell folks, the success you see me have in Ghana, trust me, don't think I've not tried to have that success in every single country. Because <laughs> you know? that's what I'm about. I'm about dominance. But Ghana works good for me, and Tanzania is coming up real good. And the Senegal and Gambia connection that we have going on after this tour, we record everything. You're going to love it, family. Uh, we're going to really just put more work into it, more work into that itinerary, and then structure things to where you have the perfect getaway. So right now we have the perfect setup because we was on a direct flight. Mm -hmm. Like usually, you don't see me until late in, in the night. That's because we always go to Europe, France or, or, or Amsterdam. And then once you leave from the U.S., you get there to, you know, wherever in Europe in the morning time. Then your flight leave maybe in the morning or afternoon. But what is going to happen is you're going to get to the African continent, African country that you have in desire in the nighttime. Like example, we got here at 7.15 in the morning. If we have went through Europe, we got here at 7.15 at night time. <laughs> and that's how it is uh, you know, in Ghana. So that's our new schedule. That's the most exciting thing I have right now is the fact that uh, what came out of the pandemic. Because I remember Delta used to always have those direct flights from New York. And then over the period of time, the schedule changed, schedules adjust. But now this is the perfect time and with all the drama in Europe. You just want to say, you know, let me just skip Europe and go directly to Africa. Mm -hmm. Save you 12 hours. Yeah, it was only a seven hour and seven minutes flight. Seven yeah, hours. Once, and you know, once they, you know, from, it's like from takeoff to mm -hmm. landing. Seven hours. Yeah. You know, cool. It's unquote. actually quicker to get to Senegal than it is to um, Ghana from New York City. Ghana yeah, exactly. is like eight hours yeah, and Ghana something. may take a little, like another hour or so. Mm -hmm. But, um, yes, family. So, what you're going to be seeing as we show them a nice little. 
Is so the, did he say this was the Pacific Ocean or Atlantic? No, Pacific is in another part of the world. That's the Atlantic Ocean. This, but I thought he said we got all four seasons of the oceans. He said that um, Senegal was wrapped around. Um, what did he say in the car? It's a peninsula, but it's but it's based on the Atlantic Ocean. Remember, we're we're here in West Africa. In order for you so to the, get to the yeah, Pacific, yeah, the middle passage, you have to go to the west side of the U.S. So we're in the middle by the middle passage. Yeah, you know, you but what did he say about how he said something about the bodies of water? Oh, he said peninsula, not Pacific. Yeah, no okay, peninsula. Like right. uh, when you go to Gory Island, it's kind of in that little peninsula uh, look. And when are we going to Gory Island? We are going to Gory Island tomorrow, and family, we are rocking the fresh gold Africa for the Africans T-shirt. You know what I mean? You know, and it's mixed with the usual color. You know, family. Yeah, uh, black, green, and gold. Yeah, you know? so you have red, black, green, and gold. The four unique colors. So you'll see that in all of the tour T-shirts we have. Kind of like my Ola Doom shirt here. You know, my folks from you know Salvador, Bahia, Brazil. One of my favorite places uh, ever. Only went there once. You know, sometimes it's like that. Mm -hmm. That's why I appreciate Ghana so much because the opportunity is always present itself to go back. Sometimes it just don't work like that. Where you know, sometimes you just you may not get any people. You know? I mean, it's been long enough to let you know that all countries is not going to work out like that. We just have a bus of people ready to go with you. Mm -hmm. but, if, but if I tell you that Ghana has that energy, that means there's something special going on. Yeah. So when you tell them people, show all the wonderful things in your country, it makes a world of a difference. You know, like Ghana got ridiculous tour sites. You know, mm -hmm. Egypt and many other countries also the same. But at the end of the day, you know, people are going to connect with certain energies. So the, the trips and the countries that I have on that itinerary, and literally things that connect with your soul, connect with you on an incredible experience. And one of the things that we have in common with every single experience is a reconnection to our ancestral reconnection, which is the African Holocaust location in the different countries. For Ghana, it's uh, Elmina and Cape Coast Holocaust Dungeon. For Senegal, it's Gori Island. For the Gambia, it's uh, Kunta Kente Island, formerly known as James Island. And for Tanzania, it's uh, Zanzibar Island, uh, where you get uh, remnants of history of the um, Arab slave trade. You know, it's one of the things we can never forget about the Arab slave trade. It seemed like the longest running slave trade of all time. It seemed like it still has not stopped to this very day. Mm -hmm. Because when we think about North Africa, we think about all of our brothers and sisters that be trying to get to the other side and you know, get to Europe. And next thing you know, you, you know, you get caught up. Next thing you know, there's a band of Arabs out there, you know, like bandits out there you know, kidnapping you. You know, many things go wrong up there in the desert. You know, mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, after um, uh, Libyan uh, President uh, Gamar Gaddafi was, was literally assassinated. assassinated, literally overthrown, all in terrible words, uh, that created an energy to where you have all of these bandits now running around the place, and it's like wow, wow, wow. West. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Saharan Desert. You know, so, you know, people. I have to look at accounts of those things, you know, and that that was a stronghold of a government that limits certain things going on. I don't know if anyone can really stop some of these things going on, um, you know, because when sometimes when you live out in the desert, it, it tends to affect your brain, you know, worse than a mental disorder because you're out there in the dry heat, you know, it affects your brain. It's sucking out all that moisture from your brain. <laughs> Make your ass go crazy, you know. So, you know, uh, that's one of the things I definitely got to let you know, man. A state, don't be trying to go across the desert or get into nobody vehicle or anything like that. To and escape, like that. it could be you, you know, be escaping you know to something worse. This is how I make my way around North Africa. I get on a jet plane, mm -hmm. you know, and then for the most part, just avoid northern part of Africa. You know, and the same thing in the southern part of Africa. You go down there, it's a whole different world. As a matter of fact, every single region you go around Africa is a complete different region. Our favorite is West Africa. You have the that's where most of us are from. And the tropical energy. And then also East Africa. You have the best climate in both of those coasts right there. Something similar to, you know, where I'm at from, um, you know, where I'm from in Jamaica. You know, where you get a nice 80 degrees weather. Like right now, it's just like, it's hot, but it's not humid. You know, it's a nice It's cool about hot. 70, 75. 75 degrees? Yeah. You know, I guess it is. It was a little cool when we came back earlier. Mm -hmm. So family, that's probably more than enough uh, for you. This is Bomani Time Alive in the Flesh. And we're going to give you a whole lot of documentation on this journey coming up. Today is only the first day.